Stop sowing defeatism. I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out, before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! Tend to this matter. Baron Raven and Kimbolt, I presume. Does that witcher's code of yours exempt you from court etiquette? Does it grant you the right to speak to the Highborn without being asked to do so? I guess I don't need to introduce myself. Oh no. I know who you are. Geralt of Rivia. Fortest's other favorite hound alongside Roach. Not purebred. They say you bring trouble wherever you appear. Who was that thug I passed in the doorway? He's of no concern to you. We host who we want. True enough. They're gonna re-establish the Conclave. I didn't expect so many Temerians to show up for the ceremony. We're not here for some magic pomp and circumstance. This is about celebrating a new order in the Northern Kingdoms. Is that so? Your kind doesn't understand this yet, but your life is about to change. Forever. My kind. Wanderers and scoundrels. People, and I use the term loosely, without loyalty or country. People for whom coin is the law and everything's for sale. What'll happen to Temeria? Is that a note of nostalgia I hear in your voice? Remembering your service under Faultist or recalling some romp in the sack with the royal advisor? Whichever it may be, spare me your courtesy. You don't care a lick about my country. I know what I care about. That's why I asked. Understand this. I'm talking to you only out of respect for Fortest, Out of remembrance for him. Haven't seen much evidence of that remembrance, aside from the rewards on my head. They'd have hanged you if not for the testimony of little Anais. So the girl finally talked. Whoever that monk was, to me he was just like you. I didn't kill Fultest. That's just one of the things that makes us different. Really? What else? Honor? Principles? I'm a witcher. I don't kill humans for coin. Are you certain it's not just a question of price? Tell me, Geralt. What were you doing at Faltest's side that unfortunate day? You're right. I should have turned Faltest down. The royal entourage is no place for a witcher. We were supposed to leave after the battle, Triss and I. Faltest had already consented. I should have left before the battle. The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I sent no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? That's immaterial just now. If that's the situation, I've said all I have to say. I wrote no such letter. Words come cheap, Baron. I'm finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. If this letter exists, we are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Temerian noble and will be duly punished. A scribe will test the letter and confirm what I claim. My claim? My scribe? I'd hardly call that impartial. Maybe I should just deliver the letter to Natalis. Any accusation will be quickly dismissed. Heed my words, Witcher. It would be unwise of you to jump to any conclusions. Speak with my scribe. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved. notes.
The king of reagents. I don't know any of these substances. Best not risk destroying the letter. Maybe there's a formula for the activator in the scribe's notes. How did it go? Light, quench, shit, rinse. Thus you will the facts evince. To read the truth by lies deformed, guano into piss transform. Calling me sauced. Nah. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. I don't have time for this. Young alchemists! Not all that falls out on our ass is gold. He had a cormorant old shit spells out his hole. Vapors to cleanse in water cold. So be bold, be bold. Cormorants, a string of cormorants. Quenches lime? I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. Burnt lime, a bit of water, everything's better with a dash of bird guano. Wait for it to dissolve. I need to add burnt lime to the flask, then quench it with water. Add bird guano to that, heat it, then capture the vapors and run them through cold water to obtain the final substance. All right, let's try this on Kimbolt's letter. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. A little burnt lime. A bit of water. Everything's better with a dash of bird guano. Wait for it to dissolve. Smells like piss, but it worked. The sheet's orange, not blue. The letter's fake. Kimbolt had nothing to do with this. You were right, Baron. The letter's forged. Of course I was right. I would never seek to hurt Boosie. Bastard or not, he is still a child. Your payment, Witcher. I want you to look into another matter. What would it involve? Count Linus Maravel. You've heard the name? Young, capable, handsome. Yeah. Yes, yeah, all that and more. And he's ambitious to a fault. Right after the Temerian delegation arrived in Loch Ween, his people began visiting the Nilfgaardian camp regularly. Are you suggesting Maravel's a traitor? We are all entitled to communicate with the ambassador without chagrin and openly, as court and diplomatic protocols allow. Yet the Count's multiple messengers, the letters traveling to and fro, it reminds me more of a complicated courtship. You're curious to know the content of those letters. I want you to learn the Count's plans. The man would sell his mother to please the Emperor. Find out what Maravel's messenger is carrying. If treason is involved, you must alert John Natalis. 
You will be generously rewarded, I assure you. All right, I'll look into it. My lord, we know where they are. What are your orders? Bloody wonderful day. Stop looking at me! Assemble your men and resolve this once and for all. Master Witcher! What do you want? My lord, the Right Honourable Count Maravel requests the pleasure of your company. He says it's urgent. Seems like everything is these days. Tell the Count I'll think about it. Slayer. Gather your gear. We're off to hunt. Ah ha ha ha! Geralt of Rivia, I am delighted to see you among the living and the free. Are you serious, Count? Such an injustice to lock you up without so much as a hearing. And then the beatings, the torture, it's barbaric, I tell you. Based on pure prejudice, the presumption of guilt. Actually, if I'd seen what they saw. Uh, but alas, such is my homeland, filled with fear and thus ruthless, cold as stone, dark and severe in aura and mindset. I suppose there's some truth to that. A response at once cautious and reasonable. Admirable qualities in and of themselves positively required in your profession. If you say so. I've got to say you stand out, Count. I'm flattered, I suppose, but what specifically do you mean? I haven't quite put my finger on it, but take a look around. Would you say you resemble your countrymen? I thank the gods I do not. It is because I love my homeland that I am the first to note its faults, and they are many. Care to elaborate? Hypocrisy, superstition, lack of learning. Need I go on? If you wouldn't mind. Take you witches, for instance. The gods know we suffer a plague of beasts. Pre-conjunction, post-conjunction, magically bred and sprung from rotting marshes and the dark abysses of our land. No such thing as pre-conjunction creatures. Uh, you bite unnecessarily. We have but one remedy for this plague, dwindling in numbers as it may be. Yet it is a remedy we revile. You are shunned. Spat upon, turned away on stormy nights. Would you say this is reasonable? It's the way of things. Spoken like a true representative of a dying species. What brings you to Loch Muin? Concern for my country, Witcher, and an express and somewhat surprising request from Constable Natalis. Surprising? How so? Surely you jest, Witcher. Truth be told, few could marshal loyal forces matching mine on such short order, a Baron Kimbolt accepted. Yet, though I very much held Foltest's trust, I cannot say that many of my Temerian peers feel the same way. Why do you suppose that is? They resent me. I share neither their customs nor their beliefs. What's so urgent, Count? Ah. Oh. Etiquette is not your enemy, Witcher. It would not hurt you to embrace it at times. In any case, I could not help noticing you circulating in and out of Baron Kimbolt's quarters. Yet I wonder if you are fully aware of the kind of man you serve. What do you mean? He cuts a fine figure, doesn't he? The heavy cloak, the silver mane, the booming voice. Yet our worthy Baron is hardly the saint he makes himself out to be. A lot of that going around recently. I am in possession of certain information that might interest you. Mm -hmm. And you want to share it because? We come from different worlds, Witcher. On the surface, we are as unlike as wraiths and wyverns. Yet, no matter our preferences, culinary, political, erotic, ultimately we both are interested in and tirelessly seek one and the same thing. The truth. You can talk, Count, 
I'll grant you that. But I'm not convinced you can be trusted. Baron Kimbold also offered me the chance to learn a certain truth. I don't think I need to say who about. And you are certain that Kimbolt can be trusted? So far, all the Baron's words have proved true. Well, then I merely ask that you verify mine. You are not the sole person to have repeatedly visited our kind-hearted Baron recently. Doesn't seem strange to me, given the time and the place. He has also had some more troublesome callers, blackmailers to be specific. Now, I'm not handing down any verdicts. Perhaps the Baron has some personal problems, in which case I would very much like to help him. Get to the point, Count. My people have learned where these blackmailers are encamped. I assume Baron Kimbolt has not been sitting on his hands and has also dispatched his huntsman to find them. A horrible man. I know who you mean. Ran into him in Kimbolt's quarters. Then you must also know that if you do not make haste, nothing will be left of our blackmailers, save some rotting corpses. I shall show you where they have their camp, and I merely ask that you learn what is at issue. Naturally, you can count on my gratitude, though we both know that is not the greatest reward. I can't promise you anything, Count, but I'll think about it. Farewell. What do you want? I saw you talking to Kimbolt. <laughs> I'm free to go where I please and talk to whoever I please. Couldn't agree more. Now you're here and you'll talk to me. I'm interested in the Baron. I've naught to say to you. Not good, because I need to know everything you know about him. Baron Kimbolt sends his regards. Oh, just what we needed. Leave us, Witcher. Since when does a witcher take orders from a huntsman? Since that witcher stopped hunting monsters and started poking his nose into others' affairs. Sometimes the stench is so strong you can't help but catch a whiff. Aye, well spoken. You've some common stinking thugs here, and I'm to teach them some humility. A ponce like you? Pucker up and kiss my arse, you fucking tulip! These folk have nothing to say to you, understand? I'll be the judge of that. Lend us a hand, Witcher. You'll not regret it. I'll need to know everything about Kimbolt. God, this is shit! Enough of your jabbering! Kill them all! <coughs> <coughs> Thanks, Witcher. We'd be corpses if not for you. Yeah, seems likely. Now don't make me regret helping you. You're welcome to all we know about Kimball. I'm all ears. We came here to collect our fee, me and me brothers, for a favor we did the Baron. What did you do for him? Spent four days in a forest, sitting on our asses. Baron Kimball wanted to pay you for that? Course not. We was to destroy some wagons in a caravan that was to pass through Millville. Problem is, caravan never came round. I can see why you're having trouble collecting. Kimball had shy information. How is that our fault? That bugger lost us a right lot of time. And you know what they say, time is coin. What exactly were your orders? We was to watch the high road for a caravan carrying nobles. Two coloured wagons and a small escort. The wagons, they was ours. All inside was to perish. 
Any idea who was supposed to be in the wagons? Two eyeborn young'uns and their nannies. That's all the Baron told us. Willing to tell Natalis all this? I'm to fess up. They draw and quarter me. You didn't do anything. Took a job, that's it. They can't prove you actually wanted to complete it. If you refuse, Kimbolt wins. He'll squirm his way out of this, but it won't end there. The Baron's got gold enough to hunt you till he hunts you down. Not likely. I'll see them tear stripes off his back with hot pincers. All right, I'll talk to Natalis. It's you. I'm Geralt. Brass of Bannard. I remember you from Thanad. I believe I saw you in Oxenfurt, too. Seems we only ever meet on Elvenland. Indeed. But I suspect you're not here to chat about Elven ruins. On the contrary, I find Elven ruins interesting. Do you really? Elven works are not half as interesting as gnomish ones. But even ruined, Loch Muin is impressive. It must have been beautiful in the times of the First Conclave. Everything was better before the war, as they say. The sources, those children that old Geoffrey Monk brought here to train in the magic arts, must have walked around gaping at all they saw. Somehow I just can't imagine Hen Gedimdeeth as a small gawking boy. You met him? Ah, right, on Thanet. His death was a terrible loss. Terrible. You see, Geralt, Everyone complains about how the world is taking a turn for the worse. Values are being compromised. The small is dislodging the great. Exactly. But the events on Thanet truly marked the end of an era. The world grew up, losing its virginity in a rape. What use are masters of magic and legendary heroes to a grown-up world? They're of no use. That's the point. Today, people manage perfectly well without mages, witches, and heroes. Yet not everyone understands that, and not everyone likes it. You're so clever, you'll get in trouble. We'd best change the subject. Actually, I'm here because of your weapon expertise. I'm no expert. You're the best swordsmith among mages. I'm more interested in the cultural relics of other races, actually. I'm going to need a solid cultural relic in my hand. I guess the circumstances require haste. I'm interested in the Wild Hunt. Any chance you know something about it? Uh, <laughs> no. Birds are not exactly my speciality. Thanks. I came upon this strange manuscript. Think you can help me with it? Hmm. Why, yes. I don't believe I'm mistaken. Do you realize what you hold in your hands? A mage told me it's the key to an ancient ritual that summons evil specters who otherwise wander the earth doing no good. Specters apparently willing to make deals. Well, the mage was full of bilge, so to speak. You see, the Vrans knew well how to secure their treasures. It is said that in some places they left sentries. Now, these sentries come to life when someone draws near who possesses a scroll inscribed with words of power, like this one is. Provide the correct password, and the doors to a hidden vault open before you. So how do I use the manuscript? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Nothing comes free, my friend. You needn't even know the meaning of the words for the sentry to let you pass. You must merely know the sequence in which the password must be read. In this case, we have a sentence. Nana Kanpa zi udu ya lala gat exa nana zi udu zi gat kanpa nibit. Nana Kanpa means forge ahead, while Nana zi means backtrack. In summary, should you encounter a sentry who reacts to this scroll, you must first answer with the words that follow Nana Kanpa in their given sequence, then omit Nana zi. 
and conclude with all the words that follow this phrase, but in reverse order. Not that complicated, actually. Thanks for your help. Tell me what you know about those gargoyles that are bothering you. They were servants of the mages who once lived in Loch Muin. The mages left, but the gargoyles remained behind. They're still lethal. The quarters they guard are simply inaccessible. How are things? You're either very unobservant or very rude. I thought I'd meet some of my colleagues from years past, chat with them and reminisce, but they all turn their heads away and treat me like air. Mages aren't known for being polite. You're telling me. They threw me out of Bannard the first chance they got. Must have beaten the Chancellor one too many times. They've all forgotten me and I believe I've had enough. I'm getting rid of the grimoires and amulets. I don't want anything to do with mages. I'd like to cast an eye at those if you don't mind. Sure. Cast both if you want. Anything on the wild hunt in your collection? I'd avoid the topic altogether. Nothing good has ever come to those who have delved. I'll take my chances. I need to know why the wraiths carry off youths. What happens to them? This knowledge has never been recorded. Which does not mean it cannot be acquired. Well, I'd like to acquire it. In the chasms beneath Loch Muin, there is a sword that once belonged to an elf from the parallel world. And nobody's gone to look for it? There are mages who seek it still, but the sword is well concealed. They say he who handles it will understand the essence of the wild hunt. Could that be true, though? I'd like to play dice poker. I venture to say you don't stand a chance against me. But I won't play you anyway until you beat those mages. Welcome. Welcome. What can I do for you? Do you play dice? Would you like to join us? 
sure. Who would you like to play? You win. Care for a game. Care to play dice? You lost. Not to worry. I'll win my coin back. Care to play dice? Congratulations. You've won. Thanks for the game. How can I help? I want to play dice. I could use some coin. Shall we play now? You've won. Who can I play next? My apprentice. She's a mere learner in magic, but she's a true master in dice. Yes. Let's play dice. Shall we? I've won! I'll make it tougher for you next time. Yes. Let's play dice. Shall we? You fully deserve this coin. Who else can I play? The incredible Lockhart. Sounds arrogant. Where do I find him? Somewhere around the market, most likely. Thanks. Your service. 